The Pension Transitional Arrangement Directorate, PTAD, says it has paid about 96 billion naira to pensioners in the last one year. The Executive Secretary of the Commission, Dr. Choma Ejikeme, while briefing newsmen on the achievement of the Commission in the last one year, said PTAD is committed to resolving every dispute arising from payment of pensions and gratuities. Our correspondent, Amadin Ui, has that story. The Pension Transitional Arrangement Directorate, PTAD, was established in August 2013 in compliance with the Repealed Pension Act of 2004, which was re-enacted in the Pension Reform Act of 2014. PTAD was established to solve the problem of ghost pensioners, a lack of proper pension database, and the resolution of pension areas, which had caused untold hardship on Nigeria's elderly citizens. However, seven years down the line, many Nigerians are still confused on the actual responsibilities of the directorate. PTAD is just an engine room for carrying out the mandates of the government concerning pensioners. PTAD does not create salary structures. PTAD does not come up with any pension cyclers. Some pensioners admit that their challenges still abound despite efforts of the directory to live up to his responsibilities. To have been over for some time now been complaining of uh, low pension rates. We have taken our case to salary, national salaries and wages, uh, wages and income, national salaries, incomes and wages commission. At this press conference in Abuja, the executive secretary of PTAD says the last one year has seen the directorate disburse funds to the tune of almost 100 billion naira to solve problems arising from the payment of pensions and gratuities. Between July of 2019 and August of 2020, PTAD paid a total of over 96 billion naira to pensioners across all the operational departments. The sum of over 77 billion was paid as monthly pensions payments to 244,643 pensioners as of July 2020. 19 billion, over 19 billion was paid to 87,842 pensioners in the form of arrears and gratuities. And the sum of over 670 million was paid to 418 next of kings of deceased pensioners. Peter also adds that it has embarked on a war against corruption. The directorate says about 44 billion naira of unremitted assets remains in the hands of pension underwriters. The executive secretary of the directorate, Dr. Chioma Ejikeme, says that it is necessary to recover these assets for the sake of Nigerian pensioners. Peter is working assiduously on the recovery of legacy funds and assets in the custody of 12 insurance on the writers belonging to the default agencies. They were previously responsible for the pension payments to federal government parastatals and the universities. The directorate has filed an action under the undefended list procedure for the recovery of legacy funds and assets against four of the insurance underwriters, namely Goldlink Insurance PLC, Unique Insurance PLC, Standard Alliance Life Insurance PLC, and Niger Insurance PLC. The directorate also assured of its commitment to solving pension challenges of all civil and public servants before the end of 2020. Amadin Ui, Plus TV Africa.